Hi friends, how are you? I hope you are very well. There are almost two weeks more to go until the month is finished and today I wanted to tell you about my TBR for these next two weeks. It is a TBR for the readathon that Katie from Books and Things is hosting all the month of May and it is the, uh, the readathon 1900 till 1950 and it is about reading all kind of books that were published between this uh, time period they are really interesting and nice prompts i will be linking uh, the links to the channel and to the prompts and to the recommendations i am sure uh, many of you already know Katie. I really love her channel. I really wanted to participate in this readathon also because I discovered in the last time that I really like books that were published in this uh, period of time. There are many different prompts and really interesting ones but I I've just uh, now I'm trying to con I'm trying to concentrate in the bonus prompt who which I think it's it's re it really suits me because with this prom I have the opportunity to read uh, different books from, uh, from different decades. The first book that I am reading, I have written it, but it's better to remember all things. So the first book that, I've, uh, that I will be reading is The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. It was published in 1901, so that will be for the decade of the uh, 1900. And I've never read this book. I know it is really um, loved and famous. I've seen some of the drawings and they are so beautiful. So I really would like to, to check this out of my list uh, of uh, the classes I would like to read. And so I'm very excited about it. The second book that I am reading, I, I've already started, is My Man Jeeps by P.G. Woodhouse. And it was published in 1919. That will be for the decade of the 19, 1910. It is a collection of short stories. And that's why I can also fulfill the prompt, read a book that is not a novel. And I am having ha fun with it. Uh, most of the, story, the stories are really funny. Uh, it is about Jeeps and um, his boss. I don't remember now the name. Wo Wo Wooster? Yes, Wooster, Mr. Wooster. I think Mr. Wooster is really, really, is rich. And the butler, he's really intelligent and saves him all the time uh, in in really difficult situations or really um, funny situations. Jeeps is always there to help to help him and also to tell him which kind of clothes he should he should he should wear because he uh, not always uh, <laughs> chooses the right the right uh, tie or the yes the right outfit. It is really funny and yeah, sarcastic. And then the third book that I would like to read is Queen Lucia. And I've, uh, I would like to read you a little bit uh, about her, about this book. Queen Lucia resides in the village of Rice Home, a pretty Elizabethan village in Worcestershire. I hope I'm pronouncing okay. I'm sorry where she vigorously guards her status as queen, despite occasional attempts from her subjects to overthrow her. Lucia's dear friend, Georgie Pilson, both worships Lucia and occasionally works to subvert her power. I've heard lots of good things about this series and about this book, and so I'm very excited to read it. It is a book by E.F. Benson. Then, for the 1930s, I've chosen High Wages. I've started to read this book um, in, uh, I think it was last month that I started it, but I am, I, I am finishing this book um, this month. And it is a really interesting book uh, by Dorothy Wimple. It is about a shop girl. And uh, at the beginning of the story, she is very poor and she wants to uh, to have a better life so she starts to work in a, a drapper's shop and uh, slowly but surely she starts to improve her situation and she will also fall in love and uh, she will have to uh, 
to fight for a better a better life and not to be so um, dependent of her of her circumstances. And then f for the 1940, I've chosen Sad Cypress by Agatha Christie. Um, it is a, a really uh, interesting and atmospheric. It is really atmospheric. It is about um, Eleanor Carlyle and she's a very uh, rich young woman that uh, and she's accused of having killed uh, Mary Gerard, a very poor woman who was working for her aunt and but Eleanor Castle's fiancé falls in love with this woman, with Mary Gerard, and so that's why all, all people think that she, she has killed her. And only Hercule Poirot can save her. Please tell me if you have read any of these books or also Agatha Christie. I think this is a very popular book. And um, I would like, uh, I would like to, to, to know if you also are planning to participate in this readathon. Uh, we, we still have um, almost two weeks. If you uh, didn't know about this readathon, maybe you would like to participate and read a book between 1900 and 1950s. And yes, I would like to know which plans do you have for this readathon or if you have read some book uh, from this period and or which is your favorite author, author. There are so many things to discover and yes, I'm very excited. And now I, I have a little more time. So I hope I can fulfill my my goals and read uh, as many books as I can for this readathon. And uh, I am very excited uh, that Katie uh, is running this um, for the whole month. And thank you very much, Katie. I love your channel and thank you for this uh, Wonderful, with a thumb.